Hello guys, welcome to the latest episode of Train Sim Journeys and welcome to take two. So today uh, we're on episode 37 of Train Sim Journeys and we're driving here at lovely Birmingham Moor Street and I've decided this time to do it the right way around. So we've got the DVT we're driving this time, so 82 carriage 82304 with 68010 on the rear and today we're driving on the Chilton Main Line. Uh, so, because I'm driving on the Chilton Main Line, it can only mean one guest could be here, and yes, you guessed it, Chaz Tomo Trains. Hello. Good evening, afternoon, morning, I don't know. Wherever you are. <laughs> yeah. that, right. That, that makes sense. Maybe Let me just sense. close Chrome down a minute. It's going to pause just a second. If it wants to close down, which it doesn't. Ah, there we go. Sorry about this. It's always when you don't want it to, your laptop takes forever to load something. Well, I do know the feeling of that. Yeah, it's not nice. Anyway, right, we're back. Here we go. So, um, yeah, we're at lovely Birmingham Wall Street. We've got a few minutes. I'm all set already. And I've already learned to drive the thing, so please don't worry. Uh, and I'm not actually driving the 68. I'm going to challenge myself to do that and give myself enough practice for another time. It's a good job that this is the correct formation, else I really would have butchered it. I shouldn't have done driven the 68 anyway, because it wasn't the correct formation. So, oh well, good job that video's gone. Anyway, control Z. Wait, what? Anyway, right, so, um, let's begin. Um, Charlie, uh, whilst I get ready, um, would you like to read out today's service? Okay, hello everyone. So, we are on the lovely Chiltern Main Line, where we are driving the 1355 Chiltern Railway service from Birmingham Moor Street to London Marylebone, calling at Solihull at 1403, Warwick Parkway at 1414, Leamington Spa at 1422, and Banbury at 1430. Banbury! Hi Wickham at 1513 and arriving in two London Marylebone at 1542. Just screaming Hi Wickham there because you know I'm not Hi Wickham Banbury uh, because that's yeah. you know because you usually do it so um yeah so this went horribly wrong last time just for the viewers who weren't here for this basically what happened was uh, I, I was partly pranked and it was a bit weird but. It was live, and that was my that this prompted my decision to not, um, to not actually go live anymore with Train Some Journeys, only on special occasions, which uh, is something coming up in the future, um, for episode fifty when we do reach it. But hush, hush on that for now. Um, so. Basically what happened was we got to Leamington Spa, we left and we were driving between Leamington Spa and Banbury where then all of a sudden uh, the someone decided to tell me that Control and Z would stop the 68 from screaming and I just realised to myself as soon as that was said I think oh, we're ready so let's get ready to go All right, let's depart. So we are now departing uh, Birmingham Moor Street. I know you can't hear the sound of the 68, but I think for some that's probably a relief. Uh, because of the screaming on the inside of it, but oh well. Um, yeah, so we got to between Leamington Spa and Banbury. And then, because someone said that, uh, which, again, it's my fault for not knowing much about it, so uh, apologies on that front for my own Ricky error, but basically they said it stopped the screaming, but it didn't. It just slowed the train down and pulled it to a stop. Couldn't do anything about it. So then someone said to press backspace and basically it's a meme now and actually 
I find it quite funny, so, you know, I don't really care too much about it, thankfully. I was surprisingly in mob that told you to do that as well. That wasn't, actually. It was. No, it wasn't. I can't remember who it was, but it was someone, but it doesn't matter anyway. Whoever it, whoever did it, thanks, you made a meme. Actually, I don't care about it, so, you know, you made a meme. Anyway, let's carry on. The next station on the route, we're just apart bearing in Moore Street, is Solihull. So, let's test your knowledge of these then, Charlie. How many of these, um, how many of these silver sets run a day? It's not many, is it? Timetable. Just say normal. Okay, I've got to think about it. So, I'm going to think of the. Well, I don't really know. I only know some of them. Oh, fair enough. I don't know all of them. What ones, what ones do you know? I only know a few of the ones that run from Banbury. Oh, fair enough. So, I know 1208 to Birmingham Moor Street. This one that we're driving, 1441. You mean 1355, yeah, out of um, yeah, Moore Street, yeah. 1441 out of Banbury. The um, 1708 to um, Kidderminster, 1809 to Kidderminster, and 1909. And also there's one that terminates but goes back to Wembley as an ECS. Okay, fair enough. It's either, it's either Wembley or Marylebone as an ECS, because it terminates, and then... When we pull into Solihull, I'm just going to make sure the DRA is off on the 68, because I think I left without it, I think I left with it on, which means it's nice and quiet, which is kind of good, but... At least you're on time, at least. Just about. Okay, we're passing our first station, our second station, we passed Bordsley. So I think this is uh, Small Heath we're passing, there's a bit of lag, so I do apologise. Um, yeah, I would like to go to Big Heath as well. Wow, don't ever make that joke again. Okay. <laughs> that was just, Sorry, that was very Chaz-like. It means it's very you to do that. I know, I, yeah, but, but... See, when you become a father, if you ever become a father when you're older, Charlie, then you can make dad jokes, but not until, not before then, okay? Okay. <laughs> I'm kidding with you, don't worry. Um, yeah, so we're passing Small Heap. The next station we're passing through is Tisley. I think we're going to pass through Weird Platform on Tisley because, again, it doesn't like to pav it just accurately, but it's done done okay to this point. Oh, no, no, it's paved it fine. It's paved it fine? No, it hasn't. Oh, well. Let's go anyway. Wait, what do you mean by Weird Platform? Well, we went via completely un a completely different platform, and on this one we have as well, but... It doesn't really matter because we'll cross over onto the correct track in a moment. That's a relief. To be fair, this seems good already because. Actually, no. We are on the correct track. No, it's fine. We're on. A, we're on a. We're on the right track at least. Got to slow down a little bit. Were you about to say something, Charlie, or was that just me? No. I'm oh, okay, yeah, it was just me. Probably, I probably, you probably heard me jump, because I um, am playing a game, I'm scared. Five Nights at Freddy's. 
No, it's not Five Nights at Freddy's. Oh, that game makes you scared. Well, not you specifically, but pe but a, a general majority of people would get scared by Five Nights at Freddy's. I agree. I mean, it is basically a game where... Have you, you've, have you ever heard of it or played it yourself, Charles? Well, you probably haven't played it, but have you heard of it? I think he's gone quiet. I have never played Five Nights at Freddy's. I have never played it. Have you heard of it? I've heard of it, yeah, but I've never played it. Because all it is is just jump scares of Drew coming up in your screen. Transport Hub 1. <laughs> Sorry, Drew. Hey, Kieran. Right, now passing uh, ACOX Green. We're just having to pick up a little bit of speed there because we had to go along the 25 limit. Right. The 68 isn't exactly difficult to drive either, it's just you need to, there's a knack to it, I think. And I think at that point when I was driving last, um, a few days ago, I didn't exactly have that knack with me. But since then I have practiced and now I know how to drive it. Okay, right. Let's all wave to Rob's public transport videos as the next train passing through is Alton, which is one of his locals. Hi. Hi, hi Rob. Rob. Oh, look, there he is, spotting on the platform. No, not really. There's a tone for him. Okay, so we're shortly going to be arriving into Solihull, our first station call. Change here for John Lewis. Oh dear. That's not very nice, Kieran. It's not that bad. It's this very nice store, actually, I have you know. Nothing wrong with it, it's a nice place. Very nice environment when you go into the store. Well, it's not lies. It's it's a pleasant experience. No, this is just this is just Kieran being a bit. You always rage about John Lewis. I never rage about them. Okay. I think I think that you know the stores are, are, are pretty nice. I mean, I I don't think I've been to a store with. Uh, I don't think I've been to a store with. Uh, with you, with you yet? I don't think you've been into one with me. Kieran has. Kieran loved it. Ask Kieran if he loved it, he'll tell you that he absolutely enjoyed the visit to Grand Central Birmingham store in New Street. Oh, I've been there. I think everyone's been to New Street. No, I mean, I've been to... <laughs> I know, I know, but I was, wind <laughs> I was winding you up. Oh, well, this is, this is really, um... As, as of the time we've been recording this, an hour an hour ago, 42 minutes ago, the Shilton Main Line reopened after a fire at a farm next to the railway. Did you hear that? I did indeed, yes. Right, I've just got to quickly go change yeah. the... just got to quickly change the DRA on this. Yes, the line between Banbury and um, Prince Risborough.
door was closed, but it's not that. Right, there we go. And Chilton, and Chilton did something really bad. Do you want to know what they did? What did they do? They, um... Well, actually, no. It's not bad for me. It's not really bad, but it's bad. So they... so It's not like, really bad, but it's bad. Yeah, so they alterated the 68 so it would go to High Wycombe, Banbury, and then non-stop to Birmingham Moor Street. Fair enough. Right, the 68 is now m making noise, so we just switched it over. Whoa. Now departing Solihull, the next station is Warwick Parkway. I saw a train yesterday for the first time since lockdown. Which one did you time. see? I saw quite a few actually. I saw I saw a 66. Oh, nice. And 165s. And a 168 and Voyager and, and, and I heard a 68 that I could see. It was while I was on my walk. That's cool. Right, so we're on the move. Uh, next stop is Warwick Parkway in about eight minutes. Ten minutes, sorry. does take a little bit of time to because it's dbt i think it drag it does drag quite a lot so picking up speed is a little bit sluggish with this 68 it's it does pick it up quite faster Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna press Control and Z when I'm on the the app like um Control and Z and see what it does. Make sure you do a trip on a sixty-eight. Hang on a minute. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do, do train sim on a school computer. Don't you think? No, probably not. Anyway, with Neil Manor we just passed through. Um no, you're in theory, you're right, probably not. But if you could, then, you know, you could. Oh, lag. There we go. Getting on here then. There we go. What happened? Just a little bit of lag. It took some time to fix, but it's fixed now. Why was Bambi so laggy? Was... I don't know. I, I, to be fair, I've cleared my cache since, so I reckon that was probably the issue. We're picking up speed now, which is good. 
run about 80 mile per hour after about 10 years of trying to actually pick up speed. Oh, now passing through what I believe to be Dorridge. Indeed, it's Dorridge. We just passed Dorridge. What's that? On the Chiltern Main Line, there is not a single station except London, Marrow, that you can catch every single route on that line. You are right. Well, not even London, Marrow, though. No, that's right. Because of the, no, because of the, um, Leven, because of the Leamington Spa to Stratford, one Avon service. Oh, and Leamington to Birmingham as well. Yeah. And Princess Risborough to Aylesbury. Yeah, so there's not a single station on that line where you can catch... I'm the missing one there. Service. No, I'm not. No, it's just those three. Yeah, so... The station that probably has the most routes to see is probably either Leamington Spa or Princess Risborough or... Yeah. Probably Any one of them, basically, yeah. Yeah, because the thing is, is because it's so well spread, it's like, um, because because the line is so well spread out, it's very much um, that some routes will have branch lines that will require a train to serve them, but not necessarily one from London. Yeah, they do. They do, but not their whole route is in the So that means they do. You means the slogan is inaccurate. I'm kidding. Well, no, I'm not kidding. It is. Yeah. Right, next station we're passing through is Lapworth, I believe. Okay. Only served by one train every two hours between Leamington Spa and Birmingham Moor Street. Very poor service for a train station on a main line. That's incorrect. That's incorrect. All right, what else serves it then? Oh, that might be a peak time service, maybe, but mostly the general pattern is one train every two hours between Leamington and Birmingham. Yeah, it was the morning peak service, so... But no one got off of that one, so... Fair enough. And the next station we pass through is exactly the same. Hatton. really picking up speed now which is good right here's another thing which confuses me go on why don't the strap on Avon services children stop at Warwick Parkway and go non-stop to because other trains serve Warwick Parkway that's probably why so really really you can't get to Warwick I mean to strap the you are technically correct, but you could just change it at Leamington Spa. You'd have to take, you'd have to... Change at Leamington Spa. Yeah, or if you were travelling, like, starting the journey at Warwick Park, you'd have to go to Warwick. Oh yeah, you change at Warwick, yeah, that's true. Or, if you wanted to be creative, you could go all the way to Birmingham Moor Street, change there, and then get a 172. Making up time now, which is good. Apologies for any form of lag. There's a line over to Stratford upon Avon right there. Wait, no, it's not. No, it's not. Ignore me, rubbish. Oh, never mind. That was very inaccurate of me. I do apologise. It's not, I don't think. 
Uh, or it might actually be. It might be an entrance to Stratford upon Avon. Oh no, hang on. You know, yes, it is. Yes, it is the entrance to Stratford upon Avon. There's Hatton just passed through. Because I forgot to say what well, the 172s can go there via Dorridge, can't they? Stupid me, forgot about that. Can you still hear me, Charlie? Yes, I can. Yay, I can. good. Good, good. making up lots of time now and we're shortly arriving into Warwick Parkway. Right, here we go, now arriving. Going well so far, in fact it's probably gone more or less easier than the last time, but I won't jinx it because we still haven't gone past Leamington Spa yet, which is where uh, Control Z gate happened. I said gate because I said it because I think it's a form of controversy. Was, was the reason that Kieran failed because of the Control-Z? Or was it because of his own idiocy? I think it was probably both. Here we are. Probably about just over a minute late, but oh well. We'll make up time on the way to. We'll definitely make up time. At, I think we'll probably get there on time into Marylebone. So, anyway, this is, excuse me, Warwick Parkway. We've gone past the stop marker a little bit, but oh well. How many minutes were made? How many minutes about a minute and a half, maybe. That is very good. Okay, now departing Warwick Parkway. Next station route is uh, Leamington Spa. I think this has gone fairly well so far, but uh, I keep saying that and it's not going to go well at some point. I can't wait for the journey between Leamington Spa and Banbury. Can you, Charlie? Oh dear. Yeah, the, the sad thing about the last video is that we didn't even make it to Banbury. We will this time. Don't jinx it, Kieran. I keep jinxing it. Ah! 
You know who I blame? I blame Kian. I think Kian. I think we should just blame it on Kian for no reason. Uh, what do you think? I think we should blame climate change. Yeah, climate change. No. Um, let's see. What else could we blame for the video failing? Um, well, we could blame. We could say it got disrupted by the uh, COVID nineteen pandemic. We could say it got. Oh, hang on, we're passing Warwick. So yeah, it was delayed by Warwick Davis. Yeah, it could be that. Okay. Um. What else? Delayed by Manchester United's poor form. Indeed. Call Network South East Ugly again and I'll cry. That's why I said it was a joke. I know. Anyway, shortly arriving now into, oh, after we finish lagging, into Lamington Spa. I think you can admit that Lamington Spa is a really nice station. It is, it's lovely, I don't have anything against it. Oh yeah, definitely. Here we go, approaching at Lewington Spa. Gonna try hit the stop marker this time. Well, Warwick Parkway was a bit of a struggle, but I think this one will be okay. Good. Oh my god, I thought I was going into the wrong platform then. I don't know why I thought that, but I did think it. Shame on me for thinking something that didn't happen. Where's the six marker? Oh, it's, it's here, it's here. Oh, we got it this time. Here we go, welcome to Lemington Spa. A very, very quaint. Yeah, very quaint. And for some reason the doors have glitched, but oh well, we're here. Wait, are you driving the slide door set or the slam door set? Slam door. Very wise choice. The reason it's a slam door is just because I want it to be. We could do a slide door set another time. I only have one slam door set now, I think. <laughs> Alright, now departing uh, Lemington Spa. We're only here flying visit. Next station in about 15 minutes will be Banbury.
Okay, so this is the point in the journey where I'm going to, I always do it at random points in the journey, but uh, it's time for some assistance in picking episode 39 of Trains and Journeys. Please leave your comments for suggestions. Please leave the route that you want me to drive and the train that you want me to drive. And if possible, and if you want me, to, if you want to add delivery, you can do. Leave your comments now. Anything from when I said now will be considered. Anything before that, no. To make oh, it fair, no. because as soon as I say now, because I'll be watching, won't I? So as soon as I say now, yeah, I, uh... that will be when I start seeing comments, and that will be the first comment I see will be the one I do. The only one I'm barring is the massive request I'm getting for the Super 47. It's not happening yet. There is a plan for that, but it's not going to be part of a suggestion. So please don't suggest it because uh, I, have I have alternative plans for that. And no, it's not to do with episode 50. That's what I was just about to ask. I know what you should do. What? I don't think you can. What for Junction joke's dead now. It's a dead meme. It was only it was only valid for it was only a meme for a day no for a few days. And plus it's at poor Tom's expense and Tom's cool, so let's not do it. Dead meme. Just like Banbury. Wait what? What's that? Why, um, why does Chilton Railways go to Kidderminster when it's like um, 75, probably quite a lot of miles away from Chilton's? I think it's probably because the depot's in Stourbridge. If they terminate in the Midlands, then they'll end up going to Starbridge Depot. Yeah. Especially if it's like late night. I've seen one in Banbury Depot before. Yeah, they do terminate at Banbury too, so. Just to make you guys aware, just a quick reminder, the next episode of Train Some Spotting is from Chelmsford, that's coming up uh, tomorrow. And then uh, the next episode of Train Some Journeys is, as requested, London, Victoria to Gillingham, featuring the 465 and 466. Already recorded it, I actually recorded it early just to get ahead of the game and it did work. Um, and in fact that was a pretty much faultless journey, which this one's proving to be as well at the moment, so... Charlie, hello. Have a look at your um, PMs. Rick. Sorry, I can't use my phone while driving. I'm joking. Right, let's have a look. Hang on, give me a minute. Already making up time, which is good news. Right, around.
around here was when the problem occurred, so you know. We're not having a problem this time, in fact we're going, we're zooming along the tracks, lovely. So, I've got a question for you, Charlie. I ask everyone this about lo about their local lines, but apart from Banbury, which other Chilton mainline station would you say you really like? King Sutton. Wow, I really should have been more specific than that, shouldn't I? Right, um, no, fair enough, fair enough. No, King Sutton is a really good station. No, no, I can imagine. No, yeah. I can imagine it's a pretty good place. Hey, that's pretty good. Anyway, right. Um, I have to say, though, the 168s, when, when you actually travel on them, like, I can't get enough of how the, the seat moquette and how amazing it is and how the headrest is just so comfortable. It almost feels like you're in first class on a um on a standard class train if that makes sense you still there charlie oh, yeah you you disappeared there i didn't hear you uh yeah i was saying the, the 168s are uh pretty much it feels like you're in standard class or well, sorry it feels like you're in first class but you're actually in standard if that makes sense If you're talking, I can't hear you. Um, I wasn't talking. Oh, would you agree with me then about the 168s, do you reckon? Yeah, yeah. They're nice, they're really nice. They are fab. Right, got a 70 mile, 75 sorry, mile per hour zone coming up here. And we're still defying the odds, so you know. Mm. To that. I can hear the 68 roaring in the background as we go along. As it stands, this is a very smooth journey. I can't imagine the same will be said about the 68 so though, when we, when we end up driving one way or other. Charlie, are you still playing Fortnite? No. Oh, right. I thought you'd gone away to... I thought you were still playing it. Yeah. I, might, I might... I might... I might be playing it. I might not. <laughs> work out what the answer is. Yeah, work, work it out. Yes or no. Knowing you, probably yes. We need to play a competition of who's more of a Fortnite gamer. Is it you or Drew? Because both of you are just crazy over Fortnite. I, I used to be crazy. No, but Drew, he's not very good. He's not very good at it. 
You played him on Fortnite, have you? Yep. I think I I think I played it with Kaya a few times. Um, I have it on my Xbox still. I just haven't really gotten around to giving it a go again. I only got it because it was Kaya's idea ages ago, and in the end we played it. It was it was it was all right actually. Better with more players, so. We are approximately 6.70 miles out, 6.70 miles outside of Banbury. I wonder if it will lag as we leave, because Banbury likes to lag. I said lag and then we started lagging. That's not that's not a good series of events, but it's stopped now, so it's okay. Just an interesting thought for you guys, because it's just come up in an article here. There have been some changes to the lockdown, uh, as you guys are probably aware. I don't know if, Charlie, you're aware of it. You, you probably know that there's some big significant changes coming. No, I, I, I didn't, I, I, I didn't realise that there was a so, so, next, so next week, from June 1st, there'll be some more changes to the lockdown. I'm just going to... So I'll run through it. By the way, non-essential travel is still in place. So, for obvious, for obvious social distancing reasons. So, hence why I'm uploading my six big trip videos next week. Because it gives me an opportunity to, uh, to do that. And just to make it clear, I'm doing a big trip video and then a train sim journeys video. And then another big trip video and then another train sim journeys video. It then also gives me the opportunity once they're done to then finish working on the next two train sim spotting videos which are going to take some time to be done anyway so it's it's good that I'm doing this now. I haven't done it just to fill in the gap anyway it's just good timing. Anyway here's some of the uh, I'll, I'll, read in, I'll read it to you guys as well, just in case you're interested. BBC News reported this about... When was the 6th of May? Oh, hang on. Lockdown update. No, this is a... This is um Article is posted on the 6th of May, but just subject to updates, I see. Right. From Monday in England, you'll be able to meet up to six people from different households outside either in parks or now also in private gardens as long as you remain two meters or six feet apart from friday in scotland uh, members of two different households will be able to meet up outdoors if you maintain social distancing groups cannot be bigger than eight and people are strongly recommended not to meet more than one other household per day in wales the same two different people rule is in place over there and same uh, groups of four to six people in Northern Ireland um, only other changes I can see here are things about there's no changes to the exercise stuff there's no longer any limit to it but we knew that already In terms of like working from home, it's still encouraged that people do that for the foreseeable future, apparently. But if you're a cleaner or plumber or someone like that... Oh, I think I'm going to spad. Nope, I'm not. I'm not actually going to spad. Just a glitchy red light. Nice. 
Right, next station we're now approaching. I'll, I'll move on from there. It's just basic things about things. Small, it's, it's, it's big changes, but I think probably if, if numbers and figures are still going down by July, there'll be more changes then. Anyway, we're now approaching Banbury. Yay. Now you piped up. It was only a uh, very familiar station, this, from Train Sim Spotting, the other, from the other video. Gonna move up a little bit just to make sure that I'm uh, parking up in the correct place. Here we are. Went over the stop marker a little bit, but there we are. Here we are. We've now reached Banbury. Charlie, you should board the train and enjoy the experience, but please don't board a train because it's not essential. Are you still there? You've got, you're very quiet. I'm here, hello. I'm here. You're just very quiet. I don't know if you're speaking and it's not being picked up. No, I am here. It's just I've got headphones. I've got earphones on, so. Fair enough. I think we did okay with the stop market, to be fair. Right, the next station after Banbury will be High Wycombe. Due into High Wycombe in about half an hour. This is where the big stretch of track is. Yep. There's a lot of stations to pass on this bit as well. Indeed, there are. Especially when we get into London. So the first station we pass through on the way is King Sutton. Okay, so we'll just cruise along for a little bit. But yeah, no, the, the, the changes in lockdown are purely just like stuff to do with uh, how many people can meet up. And also from the ne in the next couple of weeks, non-essential retail will slowly begin to reopen. And I believe what they're starting with is outdoor markets and car showrooms because they've got mostly an outdoor experience compared to, uh, compared to other places. Why would someone buy a car during lockdown? They're not going to use it. 
Well, they could. I mean, unlimited exercise. You, you actually are allowed to drive to somewhere to do the exercise now, so... So, pretty much you'd have every reason to get a car at this point. I think we're going to have a good amount of, uh, I think we're probably going to be early into High Wycombe, the way things are going at the moment. Okay, fair enough. No, I, I haven't spoke for a little bit, so, um, but you know, I, I can hear you, so it's all good. Bit of a glitchy horn then, because of the lag, that didn't help. That was lucky, I'm glad I responded to that AWS quickly. Now passing King Sutton, I realised probably uh, the flashing ambers is probably going to be for uh, crossing over the junction in a minute. Here's King Sutton passing through. Now, question this. Is it worth saying or is it not worth saying? It's probably not worth saying. PM it to me. Message it to me. I'll tell you if it is. Well, I'll give you an idea of whether to say it or not. Send it to me on Messenger though, because uh, I don't have Discord open at the moment. Could say that if you want. Nah, this is trains. That's true, actually, yeah. Okay, fair enough. If people are wanting to know, Charlie should hopefully be on the premiere and he'll tell you in the comments instead because people are probably asking right now. Yeah, I'll just say it on the Yeah, yeah, just say it in the comments. Right, so the next station we pass through is Haddenham and Tame Parkway. And now I've got a 100 mile per hour limit as we go along the route now.
this is probably one of the nicest parts of the line as well because it's got a lot of scenery as you go towards like High Wycombe. Where have you got? It's Haddenham and Tain Parkway, and then what is it? It's Bista North, isn't it? Um, King Sutton, Bista North, Haddenham and Tain Parkway. Oh, Bista North's first, yeah. Stupid me. Yeah. Forgot about that. This scenario is going swimmingly well so far. To be fair, the only reason it's going well is because the DBT is easier to drive than the 68 is. But that doesn't mean to say I won't be able to drive the 68 because I, I can now because I've learned how to do it. But. This is why I don't go live, because things like this can happen, and it's really, really annoying, so... Because, you know, what's happened on most live streams I've done, there's either been a issue with the train, like my fault, I haven't set it up correctly and I haven't looked at it properly, which is a problem of mine, it's a bad habit, uh, or... Another problem is that the train, like the 175 when we went to Hollyhead, didn't, doesn't work and you've got to change it out for another train, meaning you have to reset it and go into the scenario editor whilst live to do it. <laughs> Not very good. So now, to save the humiliation and embarrassment and also the awkwardness, most of the awkwardness, because I'm not really embarrassed by it per se except for obviously well I wasn't really embarrassed by it to be fair I just maybe felt a bit weird at first but um, yeah it's weird it's all good now but uh, most of the awkwardness <laughs> mainly because things were looking to be right and an awkward moment when they're not but you know we learn from everything. Bit of lag coming up here. Right, so we're now passing Bista North. Funnily enough, we stopped here last time. Yes, indeed. Very huge 
Ah, uh, lag, so much lag. There we go. I am sorry about the lag. Short and mainline is a very laggy route. We're doing very well for time. We're about to make it on time now into High Wycombe. Maybe even, uh, like I was saying, I think we were going to be early. Which I think is going to happen now. We might even make up time. Yeah, we, we are. We're about 10 seconds late now. Compared to about a minute or so late when we were leaving Lamington Spa. Oh no, we're 10 seconds late. What should we do? It's alright, I've already messed up Shilton's reliability single-handedly in this video, so... Yeah, we're on time now. And now running early. Even better news. Just a case of slowing down a little bit and then speeding back up again. That's all this route is at the moment, going towards London. I think we might be shortly passing through Haddenham and Tame Parkway. It might be a little while yet, but... Haddenham, Haddenham, no, it's... It's called Haddenham and Tame Parkway, but I think it's actually in Tame. Yeah, Tame's the biggest hound in Oxfordshire, as opposed to both of them, so... Where is it? Haddenham and Tame Parkway is actually in Haddenham. Haddenham, oh, okay. Parkway is right next to um, is 
right next to um, Pagnum, but it's actually 2.7 miles away from Tame. So that's a bit far. Can you still hear me? Yeah, I can. Sorry, I was typing something. Got a nice straight track going uh, along now. I think now. No, not yet. We're near. We well. We're about 50, 16 or so miles outside of High Wycombe now, but still a fair way to go. Right, now we're passing Haddenham and Tame Parkway. Not far away now. High Wycombe is 13 miles away, 13.34 miles away at that point I just said. It's now gone down even more, but you know.
You still there, Charlie? I am here. Hello. Are you, have, have you passed Princess Rizri yet? Not yet, no. We're, I think we're near there. Right, we're turning. We're going around a curve now, so we've got an 85 mile per hour limit as we go around here, which we have now gone past. So then, go past Princess Rizbra Station. And I think the next station's Beaconsfield, am I right? Yes, you are. Also, I think it might, might be Saunderton, actually. Okay. Oh no, yeah, it might be Saunderton, yeah, actually you got a point. Right, here we go. I think it's Saunderton we're passing through now. Then I think it's Beckinsfield, isn't it? Then Highwicken. Oh, this is a bit annoying because it's not showing up 
It might actually be Highwick and I think, I think it's Beaconsfield. Yeah, I think it's Beaconsfield as well. Right, shortly arriving now into High Wycombe. Right, here we are. Hi Wickham. There we go, High Wycombe Station. And the final stop after this, London Marylebone. Didn't call here last Sunday, but we went to Bister North, didn't we? What, sorry? I said we didn't call here last time, did we? We went to Bister North. No, I don't think we did. No, we didn't. No, we went straight through. Yeah, we didn't. Yeah, we went straight to Bister North. So we've got a few minutes here, just because we ran really early coming into High Wycombe. If 
think it's about a half hour journey to Marylebone from here. Something like that, anyway. I forgot to also say change here at High Wycombe for John Lewis. I hope Charlie's proud of me again for saying that. Saying what, sorry? <laughs> um, change at High Wycombe for John Lewis. I'm proud. I'm not. I'm maybe proud. Maybe. What? Uh, uh, is your mind focused elsewhere? Are you playing Fortnite? It's not focused elsewhere. I'm not playing. I mean, I'm not playing Fortnite. Sure. Nah. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> it doesn't matter if you are. I'm just like winding you up. Um, I'm not. Fair enough. Right. Sixty eight really loves making a hissing noise. It really does. So I'm meant to leave here. Fifteen fifteen. Oh, okay, we've got another three minutes here. Don't know why I did that. Finger slipped, maybe. This is such a weird looking station. The platforms are so weirdly laid out as well. Gonna have to visit here sometime. One more minute to go. We're very early in here. Really early. That's what happens when you go non-stop wow. though, I suppose. Yeah. Right, I think we're just about ready. It's actually less of a journey into uh, Marylebone than it is uh, than it is to uh, High Wycombe from uh, Banbury. It's actually 27 miles compared to Banbury's 30. Banbury to Bist sorry, Banbury to High Wycombe's 30. This is 27 miles to London Marylebone.
So the next and final station en route in about 25 minutes, 24 minutes, will be London Marylebone. And we pass through a number of stations on the way to London Marylebone. One of those being Gerrard's Cross, another one being Sir Green and Jordan, I don't think it's in this order. But then we pass through all like the suburban London stuff like Denham Golf Club, Denham, well they're not really London, but Denham Golf Club, Denham. Um, then we go through like um, Sudbury Hill Harrow, all those little stations. Oh, and the Rice Lips as well, West Rice Lip and South Rice Lip. Charlie, how many Chiltern Railways journeys have you done into Marylebone? Only one. I've only been to Marylebone once. Only ever once, was it? What train did you take? Was it uh, 168, 165, 68? 168, 168. That's alright. That's, that's nice. I've gone to Wembley. What? A, a silver set? I went to Wembley in a 165. Oh! Yeah, I was going to say silver sets don't call it Wembley, do they? Um, yeah, no, Only fair enough. There's an event at Wembley. Oh, fair enough. Oof. Very dark in here. Gone through a tunnel. Right, uh, next station we're passing through. What is it? I think it's Sear Green and Jordan's. Could be. Nope, it's not. It is. Lag. Beckinsfield. 
So it's actually after High Wycombe. Oops. Yeah, I thought it was after High Wycombe. I did think it might have been after High Wycombe. My knowledge of Chilton Mainline isn't fantastic, so especially this section, so Uh, we just passed through. I think that's sea green we just passed through. Oops. Might be. Sea green and Jordans, yes. So just randomly played? Yeah, it just started, started randomly playing music. Be proud of that, that's good. Music's cool. Okay, we're now passing through Gerard's Cross. How random. And now we'll say uh, next station we're passing through is Denham Golf Club, I believe. Yeah, it will be. Why is it called Denham Golf Club? Yeah, it was built to serve the adjacent golf club. There it is anyway, Denham Golf Club, we just passed through. Next station we pass through is Denham. A lag going on here as well. Oh, it serves Baker's Wood and then Yeah, it does. It here we go, passing Denham now. It was open on the request of the golf club, so yeah. 
on the request of them. Pretty much, the gold club asked for it to be built. Oh, they did. They're as long as they paid for it. Right, next station we pass through is West Rice Slip. Goodness me, we had a few moments on this where the lag has really been big. There's West Rice Slip. <laughs> oh, I love YouTube sometimes. I just had a comment, right? It might have been a bot, I don't know, but the channel is called Boris Johnson, hashtag stay alert. Great video, thumbs up. Hope you're keeping safe, hashtag stay alert. We keep that on there, that's funny. Okay, now passing south where I slip. Gonna pass Northolt Park next. Here we go, here's Norfolk Park coming through now. Now we've got Sudbury Hill Harrow coming up after that. Here it is. Okay, 
And then we've got uh, Wembley Stadium coming up then. Oh, hang on, there's Subbury Hill Harrow. I think we just passed that one there. Okay, here we go. Passing Wembley Stadium now. Okay, we're about four miles outside of London Marylebone now. Cool. Indeed. You've been very quiet on this one, Charlie. Oh, have I? Oh, fair. No, not an issue. That's just. Sorry. Don't tell you to apologise. Okay. I just no. I just notice. But no, fair enough. It's all good. I thought your mind was like focused on, on Fortnite or something, I, I just guessed. But no, no, it's all good. To be fair, there's not really much to talk about in between points anyway, but... Weirdly enough, we're going on the wrong track, but okay. Good job there's never a very eye coming, because this would be an issue otherwise. To be fair, the real time trains then Kai had. Some somehow the, for some reason the platform was also crazy. 
Fair enough. Right, uh, going through a tunnel now, I think we're shortly going to be arriving into London Marylebone where this train will finish the journey and we'll finish the video. London Marylebone, yay. Charlie, you sounded very... I didn't. I couldn't tell if that was sarcasm or not. <laughs> yay. London Marylebone, yay. <laughs> is, that, is that a bit better? Enthusiastic enough. To be fair, you can't exactly be enthusiastic when you're not actually there at the moment. Sad. Nope, oh, bit of lag as we come in. Okay, there's a very long tunnel we're going into as we uh, approach the exit of it and head into Marylebone. Yep, that happens. Yeah, it's just a long tunnel, that's all. Here we are, approaching Marylebone.
There we are. We've made it to London Marylebone. Very, very good journey. Woo! Again. Um, but yeah, no, it's been it's been nice doing the reverse journey though. I really, really enjoyed that. Yeah. An absolutely brilliant did, journey. Um, Snow Hill last time. Yeah, so we did, did more street one stop before this time. But here we are. We've made it to London Marylebone. Uh, on time as well, and a successful journey again, completely faultless, unlike, uh, I can just confirm that the next episode will be as well, because I've already recorded it. Uh, so yes, uh, thank you for watching this video from Birmingham Wall Street's London Marylebone. If you have liked what you've seen, do like and subscribe, do leave in the comments, because we'll get back to them as when I can, and any recommendations are welcome, so do leave those in the comments. Um, thanks to Charlie for joining, Chasdemo Trains, do check out his channel. Thank you for joining today, Charlie. That's all right. It was great. It was good. Yeah, of course it was. It's it Chilton Mainline. Yeah, it's Chilton. Woo! Yeah, exactly. Um, so, next uh, episode of Trains and Journeys is from London, Victoria to Gillingham with the 465 and 466 combo. And then the next uh, Trains and Gen Trains and Swatting video is from Chelmsford. That's out tomorrow. Uh, but for now, thanks for watching. And uh, for me and Charlie, it's goodbye.